I want to allow them to pollute my mind. You understand? Uh, they're standing where the sitting or sit in the seat of those that mock Yah. They make mockery. But it's delight is in the Torah of Yah. What do you delight in? Uh, do you delight in the, in the bubble gum salad or in the Torah of Yah? But his half aids, uh, his delight, his excitement, uh, his enjoyment for us to say that we are damn liars. Uh, we don't delight in the Torah of Yah. We despise it. We hate it. Uh, but his delight is in the Torah of Yah. And in the law, in the Torah, does this man meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. And bring forth his fruit in his season. And his leaf shall also not wither. And whatsoever he does shall uh, shall It shall prosper. That's right. Hallelujah. We don't delight in Yah's Torah. We delight in lies. We patch ourselves up with falsism and lies. You're not bringing that old damn ragged patched up vessel to Yah and thinking that he's going to pour the new wine in there. Isn't this the new year of Yah? It's time of the refreshing. That's what the new wine is, is Yah in. You get the bottle ready? Will you not have to prep those jars for those roosters we're going to can? You got to make sure they're clean. You make sure they're hot, you put them in there and boil them and make them hot. Then you put the chicken in there when it's hot, and then you seal it up, and then you put it in the vat. You just can't put it in no hot water vat. It's got to be put under pressure. Now you got to be put under pressure. That's why we stink to the Lord gates of hell. Now you're not stinking to high heaven, you stink to the Lord. We stink. Uh, we have a stinking order about ourselves. We stink. We stick before Yah. I am not taking one word back. Hallelujah. We lie just like these strangers and imposters. We lie like them. Mouthful of Shekha, verse 10, he says. And all that he did to the two Melachim, the Amorites or the Imri, that is beyond the Jordan River. If you try to define the words uh, Imri or the Amorites, it has no definitive. Our lives are really somewhat of no definitive. What are they defined by? Our lives must be defined by the Torah. So Yah calls Yisra'ya to eradicate them because there was no definite definity. And Yah said that which has no definitive according to the Torah, it must be eradicated from our lives. You can't, if you find the meaning of the Imri, give it to me please because I've searched, I can't find it. It has no meaning at all, it has no legitimacy of uh, etymology of as what it applies. It has no meaning. So the things we're doing, uh, do they have meaning? Does it signify the meaning of the power of Yah? Does it signify the, the, the gravity or the, or the grace? Great uh, reach and depth of Yahshua HaMashiach. He's going to destroy all the Imri. That's what he's doing. You're not going to be able to go into the Pesach of Yah, you Imri. Your life has no meaning. Hell, uh, bubble gum and salad every day. Uh, Walmart, it came out. That's meaning to life. Uh? No, that's not no meaning to life. Yeah. Indentured on the Shabbat, Shabbat Yah intended for his people to be free. Intend for you to have no thousand, two hundred dollars, twelve hundred dollars, the house payment, and you're bound for thirty years. That's a damn crazy. That's that's that trade off is not even right. You have to get a shack in the woods. He never intended that. You're not free to serve Yah. You're not free to spend time with Yah. How could a man have time for Yah when he gets up at four thirty in the morning, five, spend all day working, gets home at four five? Hell, he has no time. That's just the truth. That's why Yah intend for all of the ark to be free to work for him. All of the men that we labor. And we don't have to inch out or eke out a living. He will cause us to shalak. If we delight in the Torah of Yah, we will shalak. Damn the government's check. Damn it all. It's going to cease. This damn wicked whore is broke. You can think what you want to. When my check come, that little, come on, Yisra'ya, <clears throat> my riches are from Yah. He feeds the sparrows and he takes care of them. Now we're not greater than the sparrows I am. You can say what you want to, I'm great, I'm better than a sparrow. I will not kill a sparrow just to be ruthless. I was saying to Ox Simeon, uh, uh, Simeon the other day we were driving, I said, look man, look, I don't play that. You're driving. If that dog, you don't, you're doing 65 miles an hour, you're trying to swerve. No, you hit it. You just kind of slow down and you crunch him up. Don't try. No, man. 
Trying to save a cat? I'm not trying to save a cat. Kill myself? And no sooner than I had reproved him for that, when I went out yesterday, I'm traveling down 151. I'm doing 60, 63. And I'm looking at this crazy dog and I'm saying, dog, don't do that. So I'm slowing down here, cars flying, you know, oh, 151. And here go this little dog just trots right. And I, I, I can't turn that. I'm not, if I turn that, hit a tree, I'm not turning there. That was some sensitivity that I could just, under the wheel, just crunch. Right, yeah. But I am not trying to swerve to kill myself for no dog. I'm greater than a dog. I'm better than a dog. That's a fact, but I won't kill a dog just to kill a dog. But if the dog kills our chickens, he's a dead dog. If he kill our lambs, he, the lamb of our field, he's a dead beast. We're going to take him out. Hallelujah. I don't care how fluffy he looks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We heard what you did unto them over beyond Jordan. Not only them, but the Sikhon, those that are warriors. He said that we heard what you did to Sikhon, the king of Heshbon. They had their stronghold. That's what Heshbon is. It was a stronghold. And we have our strongholds, Yisrael. We're adamant when it comes against Yah. We're just like Sheon, we're warriors, we fight against Yah, we fight against truth, but we don't fight against the wickedness of our own nature. These are attributes that are directly implicit of the kings and the lands that they rule. But Yah brought them down, didn't he? He used the new wine, he had brought that new house out, and they were bold and brazen, and they simply trust him, although they sinned, he said, all right, destroy them, and they destroyed them. And he said, not only that, but Heshbon, the stronghold. And he said, you went unto Og, the king of Bashan. Og is the one that is strong or, or a stiff neck. And we have our stretch out necks, don't we? We stretch them out. And also he said of Bashan, those that are fruitful. We think we're fruitful. We think we're right. Oh, I love you. I love you. You don't love me. Love is more than just that expression. It is the, it is the has, it is the It is the nature of kindness. The fruitfulness, the loyalty. That's what it is. When a man loves his wife, he's loyal to her. When a wife loves her, loves her husband, she's loyal. It's loyalty. It's more than just that. It's not somebody laying in bed as a bedpan. Come on, Gisraya. That has been the destructive nature of what we call love and what the enemy has done. Taken that uh, and just blown out the very beauty of love, Yisraya. And that is the truth. We find our nature in all of these, these individuals, uh, which was of Ashtaroth or Ashtaruth. We have our own goddess, our own god. We are the star of our starship, are we not? Everything evolves and revolves around us. You're your own god. Nobody tells you one damn thing. You're right. When you're wrong, we're wicked. And we can't even say we're wicked. We can't even identify our faults and our wrongdoings and know that we're wrong. No, that we are not acting according to Torah. The Torah tells you everything you need to know. How to amend the fences and did it right with Yisrael. We don't give a damn. This dad-in-law, this mom-in-law, this son-in-law, this cousin-in-law, this aunt-in-law, this cousin-in-law. Damn it all. Damn cousin-in-law, damn aunts, damn, damn all, damn all the natural kinsmen. There's only one Mishpaha, that's the family of Yisrael, the house of Yah. And we all don't look alike in the physical sense, but we all look alike. When you see one another, you see the nature of Yahshua. That's what we should see. And if you love Yah, you will love one another because you see Yahshua. That's what we would do. But that old patched up, wicked, dirty old man that can't even drink the fresh virgin wine of the press. You patch up your ways, you patch your lies up, you patch up your corruption. And once the bottles burst, you have seen it. Once the bottles burst, then they are marred. They are halal. They are curse. I don't give a damn what you think. I don't care about their pretense, what kind of expression, what kind of superficial thing they put on y'all. Say, what have the wicked to do with my name or with my covenant to declare my name in your mouth? You trying to get them right? You can't get them right. Hell, you can't even get yourself right. Who are you going to get right? All these years, how you right as you are right now? You're right? Well, I'd rather be wrong then. 
In my days, that was a song of loving you is wrong. I don't want to be right. So if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Yeah, that was an old song. Who sang that? Percy Sled. Loving you is wrong. I don't want to be right. He was in love with this woman. So he said, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. I want to just love you. If it's wrong to love you, and it's right for me not to love you, she must have done him wrong. I don't recall the chorus of the song. She must have done him wrong, but he said, I still love you, woman. I still love you. Even though he's done us wrong, we've done him wrong. Forgive me, y'all. He's done us right. Even though we've done us wrong, he still loves his people. He still loves Yisrael. That's the only thing, that's the only hope we have. We can fall upon him. Allow the rock, Yeshua, to fall upon us and break us. He still loves his people. That's why he just ties us in constantly. Because we get dirty, it doesn't take long to get dirty, does it? We all took a bath this morning, but you'll be dirty by evening time. You have a stench. I know I will when I leave this place from here. And that's a fact. We get dirty constantly. That's why we must meditate in the Torah of Yah day and night, Yisrael. Let me finish up here. Hallelujah. And it goes on to express to Yisrael as uh, Yah caused this to be written out of the bosom of Yah. Yahushua, he says in verse 11, wherefore, he said, wherefore, listen to this, this is where we make the mistake. Wherefore, our Zoch came, this is what they said, and all the inhabitants of our country spoke to us saying, take unto them sada, take food with you for the journey to go and meet them and say to them, we are your servants. Therefore, make a covenant with us. We will serve you. Yah, we are your servants. Make a covenant with us. Covenant in the, in the dam of Yahshua, seal it by the dam, the blood of Yahshua. Make covenant with us. Do that, Yah. That's what Yah has done. In Yahshua's powerful name, he has made covenant with Yisrael, and he has sealed it by his dam, all right? That's what he has done, Yisrael. And he says here, he says, this is our lachim, our bread. Look at the law they said. We took this bread fresh from our provision. We say to Yah on this time, Yah tells us to examine our hearts. We will get into that later. And we come to Yah and say, I've examined myself. I bring your brand new me to you, Yah. And we are full of damn, dirty, filthy, stinking lies. This is what they said unto Yahweh Hoshua. They said to him, this is our letter, my bread. We took fresh from our provision out of our bay and our houses. On the day we left to go to you, to come to you. And now see it is dry. It is dry, and it is moldy, it is nikud, it is a crumbling bread. And he says this, this is what we say to Yah, and these skins of wine, and these skins of wine which we feel, they were new, they were, they were kadash, they were new. That's why Yisrael, we must allow the power of this Torah to renew us uh, in the spirit of our mind, uh, and that we must put on the new man. Not the damn old man. You walked in last year at this time. We must put on the new man which is created. This man is Mara. It is created in the Sadiq of Yah, in true, in Imat, in truth. And the only way that man is going to be created, we must renew ourselves in the spirit of our mind. So this is what they said to him. These are new Wine, we, we, these, this was new wine, and we feel them, they were new. Behold, uh, they are baka, they are busted, they are split, they have rented. Because we do not come before him in the renewedness of our mind, because we still have hamedza. When the word is poured out, when it's poured into us, it bursts us. And the bottle is old because you got old sin, your sin is in you, it is not going before you. Our wickedness is in us, our uncleanliness. Uh, this is what Yahshua said, you don't put the old wine in new bottles, or new wine in old bottles, you understand? This is the parable that he spoke from right here. No, you don't get this with the Schofield searching, the Schofield with the reference, because Schofield didn't know. You must be led by the Ruach of Almighty Yah. Again, he says, and these skin, verse 13, and these skins of wine, which we feel, uh, they were kadash, they were new and fresh. Behold, they have, uh, they have rent. And these are our garments and our shoes. Uh, they have become, oh, by reason of a very long journey. They're dusty. We have traveled far. 
And that's what we say, yeah, I've given you all. What you've done for me, I give you everything. I give you my heart, I give you my life. You haven't given him a damn thing. We try to bring this fake offering, we cry like, I treat everybody nice. You don't treat no damn body nice. It begins with you. You can tell how a man treats himself by his own reflection. You can tell how a woman treats herself by her, treat others by her own damn reflection. You can look at on their countenance. Well, you always talk about how stern you are. Yeah, but even in my sternness with people, they know that they understand. Believe me. They do. They do. I was in the store the other day, and this woman, she always wanted the cashiers. I, I, I don't chit chat with people like that. And so you can just sense what's in them. Oh, 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 you like this? How does that taste? I mean, you silly woman. I, I know what she was doing. I said, I do this for the purpose because, uh, of course, as we get older, we need to attend to those things. Oh, you're not old. You're not getting old. Well, I, I understood what she was saying. I'm not silly. I don't want people talk like that. So I don't even engage much with people. But they, they can look at me and say that he's not a ruthless man. We ought to be able to look at each other in our countenance and know that we're not liars and ruthless and cold-hearted. I don't want to be that way. I can't do my akron. I don't care who he is. I can't do him. I can't do my kot, my khotron. I can't. I can't lie to them. I can't pretend. Can I tell you something? I will put out more with him than I will with him. You hear me? If we are working together, this man here and I, I will put out three times as much as he put out. Truth. It is the truth. If he and I are working, I will do more. If he and I are working, I'll let him do more. Is that fair? Oh, sure, it's fair. It's right. You know why I let him do more? Because he wants to do more. Because his honor for me says, let me do this, preacher. If I work with him, he's going to, they're going to put out. No doubt about that. That's a fact. It's not that I cannot handle them in the work application because I can handle the best of them when it comes to working. Because I don't mind working. And I'm not going to be slowful when I know that my, my, my ish uh, is not slowful. I can't do that. I feel bad. See her walking in the house crippled and bent over, knowing she's been on her feet all day. That's right. She's not a shyster when it comes to that. I know that's right. I don't give a damn if you don't say it's right. It's still right. You understand? I know who's lazy. Hell. Can a manager on the job tell who's lazy? Who works? Can the manager tell who will be the best one to promote? Okay then. Did they have foresight and vision? Sure they do. All right then. Hallelujah. You go on a job, you don't put out. They know who's putting out. All right. They know the one that goes overboard, the one that takes initiative and step. I made more money than folks with college degrees when I worked at IBM. I'm telling you. No doubt about it. I saw one that was here with us that I saw his... I thought it was my book when I looked. No, no. I saw someone's yearly salary. And I had confidence in him to say to him, I said, man, that's all he's making. He's been here two years longer than me. And he responded to me. He said, that's all I make. I said, I make $6,000 a year more than him. And this man had a college degree. He said, I make more than him. I said, I never do that again, yeah. And never speak about it. So they asked, how, how much do you make? I said, what do you think I make? I know you, I said, okay then. My manager said to me, Dave Roberts, look man, the only two people, people have been there 25 years, 30 years, I've made more money than they made. Only two people make more money than you. And if you tell someone, I say, you lied, they're gonna believe me. Me and your technician, which was from Colorado, where this pay scale was different. I remember my manager name was Chris Fowler. One day she brought me my check, she said, your check is bigger than my check. Of course I had overtime on that too. She said, your check is bigger than mine. You understand? So they know even, y'all promotes even though there's no promotion. 
Hallelujah. He did right by me because he didn't want me to stay there. He said, when I say move, boy, you're going to have to move. Forget it all. Hallelujah. And that's the truth. This may consist of my zakhim. Okay. We get it all, cover it all in place here. Let me put the icing on the cake. Hallelujah. They said again here in verse 13 that these skins, they were, they were new. The wine was new and they have burst. They, have, uh, they were kadash and they have burst because of the long journey. And the shoes that they have, they were new shoes. But because we travel all, uh, you know, they have, uh, they, have, uh, they, have, they have just been marked. That's what we must shard our feet, Yisra'ya, with the preparation of the message of Shalom. We must hear what Yahshua speaks. Now in verse 14, hallelujah, they get the peace, they obtain that, and yet even those that were messengers over Yisra'ya with Yahweh Hoshua, they did not even detect this. Look what it says in verse 14. And the men took their food. It says they took their food. They received of them. They accepted their gift. And us not counsel at the mouth of Yah. They didn't even ask Yah, do we accept this? Folks say, I pray about it. We are liars. They did not even ask Yah of counsel, did they? And ask not counsel of Yah. We don't ask counsel of Yah. They took the food. The wicked pulls a gift out of their bosom to pervert judgment. They didn't even ask Yah counsel, Yah give us guidance on these individuals. That's why there are people, I, I don't care what no one says. Over the many years I've done equity about the people. When one did wrong, I did not embrace them because I don't care, you embrace them. And I was hoping that the contingency of the Akh would see what I'm doing to say, you know, the, the cafe tells us uh, that a heretic uh, after the first and second admonition, you're supposed to reject him. Shaul says on the coroner, uh, he said, you rejoicing over a damn dog like that and you ought to kick him out. And you could never see the, con you will never see the consistency, especially that should be among the elders. I shouldn't have to tell you, see, they didn't even seek Yah of the council. They didn't, we don't seek Yah. Do I do this Yah? Should, they don't, we don't give a damn. We do what we want to do. Every man does what is right. In his own again, what he discerns right. You don't give a damn what Yah says. And uh, Yahushua, he made shalom with them. And made a covenant with them. To let them live. He had the power to kill them. And the princes of the Edah, the congregation, they, they, Shabbat, they swore to them. They said, uh, they said to them, uh, uh, we're going to have shalom with you. Can I tell you something? I want to say this because I'm going to conclude here in a couple of verses. Your sins will find you out. You're not going to get by. You can lie. You can patch up. You can pretend. But I'm telling you, Yeshua is going to find out your wicked ways. You're not going to hide. They lied. We lie. We patch up. We make up. But they were not real. They were not real. They were not real. And although they beguiled the messenger, he was still in Yah's hand. He was still Yah's uh, messenger because Yah says, as I was with Moshe, so shall I be with Yahushua. And be of strength, be of the coat, be of courage, and be strong. Don't be dismayed. Yah was still with him. Yah was still guiding him. And they lied to him. Say, we come from a far country. We say to you, I bring you all, you all, I give you my all, I give you everything. You don't give them a damn thing. So they thought they got by. We think we're getting by. We think we're past it up. We think we're getting by. And yet you can see the leak, they're still there. It's almost like uh, we will patch a tire and every time you turn around, there's another hole or leak. Uh, you put a big patch over it, you just can't get it right. Until you do what? Buy a brand new inner tube. And so they thought they had gotten by. They lied, said, we come from a far country. The wine was in the bags, it was fresh, but it burst. Because it took us so long. The shoes, they were brand new shoes. We were bringing you words of strength and encouragement. But because the journey was so long, the shoes became marred. 
But it's one thing about the messenger of Yah, they're not the fools you think they are, as Zakenya, Ya Ramiya, Yisra pointed out to us. Let me read here in the, the same chapter. I would have dropped down quickly to verse 22. Look at this. Same chapter, verse 22. And when Yahushua called for them, he spoke to them, saying, Wherefore? How did he find this out? He says, Why? Have you Rama? Why have you dealt treacherous, treacherously with us? It will tell you from uh, verse 15 to 22 that they went into their country. They went into their land. And so Yahushua said, why have you lied to us? Why have you dealt so wickedly, so treacherously? Why have you dealt with us with this Ramasmir? That's how we deal with Yah. We lie. We eat when we know we should not eat. We drink and we know we should not drink because we haven't got, gotten our hearts right. Sin, we are very far from you when you dwell among us. He said, you were right by here, us. And you brought us these vessels of wine. And whereby there was no wine in there to refresh us from the great battles. We come to Yah on this Pesach. We bring the offering of the refreshing unto Yahshua. And there is no new wine in us because uh, we are a battered, pretentious, patched up old bag of lies, hypocrisy, sinfulness, and wickedness. Uh, and you come to him saying you offer up the offering of Torah. We're damn liars. These were not strangers of Yisrael. He said you were right here among us and then you lied to me. But he said, Yah has put this in my bosom, and I will speak to you what shall be. Now therefore, he says, you are a ra. They are curse. The word says they are curse. It's not what, it's, it, regardless of what he said, he said, you are a ra. And there shall none of you be karat. You shall not be free. You shall not be cut off from being a bondsman. You shall not be cut off. You're going to be bondsmen. You're going to serve. Are we not the servants of our flesh and sin? We serve it so with such, with such acts of great tyranny that our flesh puts upon us, with such binding force. We serve lies without conscience and folly and foolish and stupidity and laughter and frivolous things. This is the time to be sober. We can't be about folly when we're out there planting in the garden. If anything, I'll get the fuss and you got that at the track that's messing up. The track that I've changed the filter three times. I don't know what. We need to... Take the gas tank off. We need to do that. Man, there's only a short window and a small window. You must get the seed in the ground. We only have a short time, Yisrael. We don't have the time we think we have. We must get the seed in the ground. We must get the truth out in our bosom. We must be plowed. You got to stop your pretending. That's why all the farming today, this drill tiller is destroying the aqua fresh. There's no aqua fresh today. The waters are not fresh from the ground. They're just as polluted as that you get out of the, get out of, of the uh, cities of the cities. You got to put the water there that it would be a course of purifying. Is not your sure the rock? Yes. Must not we flow upon him, fall upon him and flow through him? Do not the rocks, the granites of the ground purify the water? When it flows out in the rivers, it's pure. Now the rivers are polluted. Everything is polluted. Even the rivers are, whereby we draw from, from the streams of our spiritual life is polluted. With lies and patched up and dikes and ditches that you try to cover up with every kind of unclean fish in there. It is truth. You lie to us and say you're from a far country. That's why you can't put this uh, new water in these old vessels. Uh. They're going to burst, they're going to be mobs, they're going to rent. He said, you're going to be servants. You're, going, you're not going to be free from being bondsmen. And you're going to be hewers of wood and drawers of water for the buyer of Yah, my Abba. He said, you're going to be the ones that serve the house of Yah. You're going to be the one that serve. You're going to be the drawers of the water. We, got to, we, we have not allowed Yah to draw from the well. So that's why he commands us to draw. We must draw from the wells of the waters, the Mayim of Yah in Yahshua Hamashiach, because we have been false, we have been liars, we have said, here's a new, I'm brand new, my mind is new, I'm going to serve you, I'm going to do right. And then you know that you have this old uh, banner of your wickedness, whereby it strengthens you to lie and to cheat and to do what is wicked, whereby you can't do this. I will say this in my closing, nearly. That we get to the point where we can identify our damn wickedness and confess it. 
you are sin. You are a wicked child of hell. You are dirty mamzee. You are dirty bastard. You have no spiritual truth, no spiritual enlightenment at all. You do me wrong, tell me. It caused that one's heart to be tempered and, and, and to even the tenderness of Yah and it even caused that, the, the beauty of Yah to reflect out of you. You're such a, we're such a dirty, damn, wicked people because we're not renewed, not at all in Yahshua. Closing with this, therefore, if any man be in Yahshua HaMashiach, he is a berah. He is a new creature. All things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. If we are in Yahshua, then we are new. We are new. Because we are not in him, then we got this old baggage. As folks say, you got that old baggage, don't bring the old baggage. And that's what they did. That's why Yahshua spoke the parable that no man puts new wine in old vessels. Unless the vessels break and you lose the wine and also the bottle perish. That's why our minds are perishing from Yah. And when something perishes, there's no life of the purpose of the Most High in that mind. It is distant. It is far away. And think on this, Yisra'ya. Do we delight in the Torah? Do we spend time meditating in the Torah of Yah? Do we just refresh ourselves even before we lie down in our beds to say, Yah, you've been so tough. Or we just so worried about eating some damn hog knuckles and pig feet. The filth of your flesh. Go to bed angry as hell, wicked as a damn wicked child of darkness. Talk to me. These fools go to bed video games all damn night long. They don't know Yah and they don't give a damn. I'm going to stop there. I don't care if you don't love me. Hell, my mother would say to me, I don't love you, I hate you. That's all right, mama. I understood your agony. It makes me no different. I intend for you to be in agony. She would tell me that. That didn't make me hate her. Because she told me that. I knew. I could sense her pain. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why Yah says I'm not going to have pity on you. Not one bit of pity. He's not going to do it. Hallelujah. May the riches of Yah rest upon you all. Yisrayah. You that have joined us by the live stream. May he strengthen your bosom greatly and much. We have extended a formal, in a, a, a formal invitation to you that want to be with us on Pesach. Don't come here. I'm telling you this now. Don't come here with frivolity. It's a time of soberness, sincerity, vigilance, and realness. Don't come here that way. You're welcome to come. I simply ask you to let me know you're coming that we will have food enough for everyone. And that will be sufficient. But don't come here with your pretense and thinking that you're going to implement something here. You're dealing with the wrong man now. You may go out there and do that, but don't come here with that. You're welcome to come. We will intrigue you honestly and fairly. We will show you love as best as Yah grants us to show you. But we will also show you correction if you come here with that. And that's the truth. So we invite you all to come. I must write the, the bishop there in New Zealand and tell him what to do, show him what to do. Precious man, I haven't met the member. I have sent something about that. Letters and things that people write. There are people that they're full of deceit and they say one thing and then they, they mean something else. Just like were not these people found out? Did they pay for their sin? And Yah's going to find you out. Your sins are going to find you out. And you're going to pay. You're going to pay. You're going to pay. That's why there are many people on their deathbed want to try to make confession. Get it right with those. That, so he's given us breath of life to get it right now. Get it right. Get right with Yah. Undo it now. We used to sing that. Get right with ya, let your shoes show you how. Get right down at the stake, where your shoes shed his dawn. Get right with ya, oh get right. Get right with ya, everybody. Got to get right with ya. And do it now. Yeah, right with Yah. Oh, let Yeshua show you how. Get right down at the stage where Yeshua shed his blood. Oh, get right with Yah. Oh, get right, get right with Yah. Yes, get right, get right with Yah. Oh, let Yah show you how. 
Get right with Yah. Oh, let the Torah show you how. Get right down at the stake where Yahshua share his star. Oh, yeah. Right with Yah. Get right, get right with Yah. Everybody on to get right with Yah. Oh, and do it now, oh, get right with your whole oh, I sure show you how. Get right down at the stake where your sure shirt is done. Oh, get right with your oh, get right, get. I gotta sing that one more. Everybody all together, right with ya. And do it now. Get right with ya. Oh, look, Yeshua, show you how. Oh, get down at the stake where Yeshua shed his star. Oh, Get right with you. Get right, get right with you. Hallelujah. Let us stand to our feet as we face Yerushalayim. Lift our hands unto you for the manner today, the bread uh, that we knew not of. For the manner was the bread that they knew not of, yeah. And so the simple truth we knew not of, that it was in your book. But it is a legend of our lives. In all things, we brach you this day for your blessings, your assurance, and your sure smarty name, for your strength. We ask you to watch over Mishbechach or Yisrael scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Touch us all today. Guide us. We ask you to take our Sahin Shibri down the road with this Isha and also our Ima. Uh, take them safely as well with our Ochotza. Blunt and her family, and watch over us all, and our hope, Jennifer. Watch over, Kol Yisraya is our prayer. We love you today, yeah, we say it. We're silly, we just don't know how to say it, but say we love you. Hear our cries and our prayers, and watch over us, we ask it all. And the blessed assurance of the only name that is given, whereby we must be, Yasha. It is the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. We will rock you for all things, and with our voices we cry, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Yabrak, Yisra, Yasalom, Shalom.